One quickie, two quickie. Authentication means proving you are who you say you are, especially in an important context like online banking or an e-commerce website. There are three kinds of authentication. What you know, what you have, and what you are. What you know is something like a password. What you have is something like a card. And what you are is biometrics, your fingerprint or retina or whatever. Two-factor authentication is when you combine two forms of authentication from two different types. The most popular example is probably an ATM card. There's the card, something you have, and the PIN, something you know. You need both to get money from the ATM. Two-factor authentication is a crucial way of protecting your online identity. Hackers can steal or guess passwords, but if there's a second factor, you can foil them from gaining access. The recommended way now is a time-based authenticator such as Google Authenticator or Authy, which use internet standards to give you a unique code every 30 seconds. That code is based on a shared secret you got with a QR code when you set this up on that particular website. As long as no one else could see that QR code, like through a security camera or something, that secret is secure. And if your phone has a fingerprint reader you can use to lock it, then getting that code requires something you are as well. You're now protected by all three forms of authentication. What you don't want to do is use texting. Texting uses the SS7 system, which is very easy to intercept, even by amateurs. So websites that only use texting for a second factor are doing it wrong. Yes, I'm talking to you, PayPal. Of course, if that's the only option the site gives you, use it because it's still an extra step the hacker has to go through, but it isn't that secure and technically doesn't even count as a second factor anymore since it doesn't require something you have. They can get your text messages without getting your phone. And by the way, security questions are stupid and useless. Not only are they easy for a hacker to guess or find out, Fundamentally, you're backing up something you know with something else you know. And that just isn't two-factor.